Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku, we just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well... Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger- We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear in order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Uh, androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot! Spill it! How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right, we've been going crazy wondering what happened to you! Yeah, for a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship! That's right, the Ginyu forces! You took one of their ships! But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not going to babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years, uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure, sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right, see you guys soon, or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first, right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? 
Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. Chi-Chi! I'm... Hi, Mom! G goku H Is that really you? <laughs> of course it's me! You look like you've been doing pretty good. You had me so worried! Where have you been this past year? And what's with those clothes? And Gohan, what are you doing in that outfit? Uh, yeah, about that. You know, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> What? You have to train Gohan because you're gonna fight some robots in three years? Yeah, that's okay, right? No, that's not okay! Are you insane? Do you think I'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt Gohan's studies? Uh, it's, I'm not trying to do that. It's just, well, the Earth might be in big trouble about three years from now. No, I don't care what you say. I'm not letting Gohan train with you. Hang on, wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Of course Gohan's studies are more important. Nothing's more important than that. What? You don't believe that, right? Come on. Let go. Ugh, fine. This is the absolute last time, you hear me? Chi-chi. But in three years, he's done with all this fighting. You got that? 
<sighs> Thanks, Chi Chi. And sorry. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses. All right. Since that's settled, let's go train. Goku! Goku, can you hear me? Hey, I know that voice. It's Kami. Yep, reading you loud and clear. I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. My apologies, but would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting What I have to say concerns everyone. Everyone? Uh-oh. Got it. Don't worry. I'll be right there, Kami. Good. I'll be waiting. You guys, I'm sorry. But there's been a change in plans. Looks like I gotta head to Kami's place. What do you think? Wanna come with me? Oh, Kami, huh? I have absolutely no desire to speak with him. Gotcha. Tell you what, why don't you guys go on ahead and train without me? R really? Uh, okay, Dad. So, uh, do you know where we're going? Uh, don't need to. I can find you guys just fine. I'll just search for your energy. Are you sure? Go on, get going. Be sure to do your best with Piccolo until I get back, though, all right? Leave the kid to me. I'll whip him into shape. What? Uh... I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. All right, there it is. I think there was something off about Kami. Hey, Kami, Mr. Popo. Long time no see. I've been waiting for you, Goku. Oh, what's up? Well, I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls. Shenron under the weather or something? No, no. You see, uh, my life is nearing its end. Call it an old man's intuition. What? Ah, oh, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh, if you say so. But not all hunches come true, you know. Indeed. But should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. <sighs> Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. I'd better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. Hey! Goku! Yajirobe, what's up? Let me guess, you need help with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah? What is it? Uh, Shinzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting- Me? Why don't you do it? 
Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. You, you, shut it! You and Krillin are probably gonna use most of the Sinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part! Jeez! Hmm, I guess you have a point. Man, this guy is so easy. Uh, that's more like it. I'll tell you what you need to do. All right, then. Take a look. That's... It's in the sacred land of Korin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down... All right, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep. See you later. Well, Corrin does help me out a bunch with his sensu beans, so I should help him out once in a while. This is divine water, isn't it? Well, it's called that. I was supposed to take this from Corrin as part of my training. I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah, he doesn't look like he trains. But he's definitely good with a sword. I remember when I first met him, he cut that monster clean in two. I bet he'd make a really strong fighter if he actually trained. Hey! <laughs> ha! Well, Corrin does help me out a bunch with his sensu beans, so I should help him out once in a while. I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah, he doesn't look like he trains. Lucky! <laughs> but he's definitely good with a sword. I remember when I first met him, he cut that monster clean in two. I bet he'd make a really strong fighter if he actually trained. Hmm? Something's there. Want a tango? I'll take you on. <laughs> we got a keeper. Yeah! Yeah! Huh. I see why Yajirobe was reluctant to do this himself. Well, 
I can't complain. It's good exercise anyway. Check and check. Found some tasty looking food. All right, this apple looks extra juicy. This looks like I got what you wanted. Awesome, I knew you'd pull through, Goku. Just wait right there. Hey, Corrin, look! I got the stuff for you! You nincompoop! You can't pull one over on me. Goku's the one who got it. You're slower than a freaking sloth. Hey, weren't you sleeping? I was meditating, you idiot. All right. I've had it up to here with you. Let me teach you a thing or two. Your punishment will be very creative. Oh, come on, man. I appreciate the hard work, Goku. I'll split the- Thanks a million, Corrin. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Might cause some trouble lately. 
Best to deal with this now. I'm pumped up and ready to go. Whoa! My power! Here goes! You should train some more. Feel kind of bad. The whole time I've been gone, Piccolo's been looking after Gohan. He's even been training him. But it sounds like he really toughened him up. So I'm grateful for that. Gohan's taken a real liking to Piccolo. Those two actually make a pretty great team. Sorry about that. Now, what do you say we start out with training? All right, for starters, I want the both of you to come at me. Both of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? Gohan, I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay. That was a good workout. Let's see what you two can do. Don't hold back. Not bad. Now that's more like it. Come on, Gohan. Keep at it. I will, Mr. Piccolo. Special beam cannon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 
Gohan? <laughs> you think so? <laughs> of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? Oh, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're going to be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah, speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Aw, oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. He trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct something like that. Where is he? Where is that damn geezer at?
There he is. Well now. There you are. Yes? Can I help you? What is going on with that training room I asked you to build? Basic construction is complete. I just need a few more items for the finishing touches. Yeah, like what? There aren't a lot of things that can take a beating from you, you know? This thing has got to be durable. Let's cut to the chase. I finish your shopping and you finish the room, that right? That's right, you got- Here's what I need you to get for me. And that about does it for the things I need. <laughs> you want me to get this? You'll see, Kakarot. I'm going to push myself further than you and become a Super Saiyan. And not just any Super Saiyan. I'm going to become the ultimate Super Saiyan, whose power is far beyond yours. greater humiliation than constantly being in your shadow, Kakarot. I'll do whatever it takes to become stronger.
down now. Well now. There's one. <laughs> Easy prey. <laughs> Suit yourself. Well now.
there. You a local on this rock? I got a bit. Give me what you got, and I might. Who the hell are you? Remnants of Frieza. Are you Vegeta? W oh, I get it. With the Frieza Force gone, you've become a galactic highwayman. Sorry, but I. You caught me in a bad mood. Die! Prepare yourself! Got a gun! I might keep that apple. <laughs> This'll do. Well now, this might be good. of my time.
This one might provide a challenge. Out of my face! This is to be expected when I'm involved. <laughs> Easy prey. Earth towns are more organized than I thought. I'll do whatever it takes until I'm strong enough to beat Kakarot. I got what you asked for. That better be all of it. Now that I have this, the room's as good as ready. Wait. All right, it's finished. Kakarot trained under 100 times gravity. So I'll have to triple that and train under three- Actually, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Assuming you weigh, say, about 175 or so pounds, that'd be approximately 18 tons of pressure. That's only three times what Kakarot did. There's no way I can't handle it. That Vegeta is unbelievable. Training under 300 times gravity? <sighs> Damn it! Uh Vegeta, what are you doing? <sighs> Shut up, woman. Leave me be. Oh, you don't want my help? Suit yourself. Why? Why can't I reach his level? I... I am the Prince of the Saiyans. Sheesh. There's just no getting through to you, is there? Uh You're insane! Have you been at it this whole time? <laughs> You're not going to make any progress if you keep this up. <laughs> Why don't you just ask Goku what he does to turn into a Super Saiyan? I'd die before I ask for that low-class loser's help! Yeah, then why don't you try dying? What did you say? I've prepared a special training partner for you in the simulator. Think you can beat them? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, you ridiculous woman? You're Vegeta, the almighty Saiyan Prince, right? <laughs> I guess that settles it then. Good luck! And one more thing. My name's Bulma, not woman. Think you can remember that? Do you know who you're talking to? D damn that woman! This place, this is the wasteland where I first fought Kakarot. Which means... But how? I'm fighting myself? <laughs> Consider, Consider yourself, yourself lucky. lucky. A super elite like myself, wasting his time playing with scum like you. Damn that blasted woman! What the hell is her problem? 
You're about to learn the hard way that effort alone isn't enough to reach my level. I will get stronger. I will go beyond Kakarot and this bastard version of myself. Don't let him... If that's your limit, then you're more disappointing than I thought. What the hell? Don't tell me this is all you've got. Ha! <laughs> 